update on what the situation about the injury list we know about jadeja and vihari would you could uh, if you could uh, please tell us about mayank uh, and bumrah and what's the situation like going tomorrow uh the injuries are still being monitored i think our medical staff is looking into them they're working with all the players so i won't be in a position to comment exactly how it stands at the moment we would, we would like to give them as much time as we can and i think it will be tomorrow morning only you'll know which which level is going to take place uh bharat sundarajan thanks molan uh, uh vikram just this team seems to just find some way out of uh, any kind of adversity that they find themselves in so can you just explain from the coaching staff perspective where this toughness comes from and uh, what kind of discussions you've had before and sorry bharat you'll re- you need to repeat your question i couldn't hear oh, really oh, i'll go again no no i just wanted to know like this tour has been like a, a, a challenge at every step for you injuries and all sorts of schedule changes but I, i just want to know where how you manage to fight through this adversity where that toughness comes from and from a coaching perspective uh, uh, like you know what the conversations have been before and after uh basically i think the toughness comes from the preparation i think the boys have been working hard for not only for this tour i think for many many years now so they all are good players we always believed in their abilities and they have a lot of belief in their own abilities so even after sydney test said that from coaching staff's perspective what was being said to them was that we need to keep having belief in our preparation in the way we prepared the way we play our cricket one inning cannot uh, let the doubt creep in and that was being said to each and every one by all in a united voice basically so that's 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 how i think the team has been playing and they've shown a lot of character to make a comeback from there and i think the reason for that is again the kind of hard work that they've put in not only for this tour but for many many years by now thank ricardo vikram hi uh, good afternoon um well my question really is about you know how indian team has improved in on the start from adelaide to melbourne winning that test match then sydney drawing it that high of sydney would it be carried on to the pitch in brisbane and would you say after this progressive improvement on the tour despite the injuries momentum lies with india I don't really believe in momentum actually I think after 36 all out and then to come back and win the next game so that tells you about momentum uh as far as I'm concerned we have the ability with or without injuries the 11 which will play in the next match will be the best 11 india will put up with put up on the ground and all of them deserve to be there they all deserve to have that opportunity to play test cricket and if they play to their potential I don't see any reason why would why won't we do well so we are again backing our processes we are backing up players and whoever plays if we play to our potential all of us believe we'll do well uh gaurav joshi followed by melinda ferrell um vikram a lot is always made out about playing in brisbane due to the extra uh, bounce and normally it's the first test match given that the team's been here for so long and you as a batting coach um can you see like the batters are you know they're ready and do you think it's it, it's a huge benefit that it's the last test rather than the first that the players are prepared for that bounce uh i think we are yes you're right i mean on this tour we got a lot of time to prepare we came early we had a lot of practice sessions there so as i said earlier we were really prepared well uh this being a wicket where you'll have more bounce you expect more bounce and more pace so having played well and having played well for so many days now so yes the belief is there that the boys will be able to handle it and they'll handle it pretty well i'm sure yeah melinda if you're there yeah hi i just I, i word on the way that the batters have dealt with nathan lyon who probably hasn't had his most successful season at home can you give us a sense of of how you've prepared the the batters to to take him on 
like any other bowler, I think there was a lot of discussions, the lines he bowls, the lengths he bowls, and what we want to do if we get in there for this series. Uh, this discussion actually started taking place during the lockdown itself because we knew that this is going to be the important tour for us. So all that was being discussed and the boys were ready and uh, with their game plans, how they're going to deal with it. Everybody has their own way of dealing with things. Um, and on this tour, I think we've executed those game plans well. So more than him not bowling well, I think we've handled, we've batted well against him. And so far it has worked well. Uh, Diptiman. Hi, Vikram. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, congrats to this uh, wonderful team and taking this team from A to B to C. And now we are at G, GABA. Uh, my question is, uh, given that the weather forecast doesn't look too good, to like two, two and a half days out of five days look like rainy, will Team India be taking a cautious approach and saving their energy for the oncoming four, four test series against England or going all out and uh, like usual, go for the kill? Of course, I mean, you don't play cricket looking at the weather. So as far as we are concerned, we are looking for a complete game and we're going to give our best playing this game. We're going to put up our best available team on the park. And if boys play, play to the potential, again, we are looking to win this one and do well. Thanks, Victor. Uh, Amit Tawar Mukherjee. Hi, uh, this is Amit Amar from Crickview. Uh, good afternoon. My question is, is uh, for this selection uh, in this test match, is the team planning to play Pant as a pure batsman and Sa as the keeper in this test? And are you going with uh, four, uh, five bowling options? As I said earlier, I think there's still a lot of uh, injuries concerns that we've had, as all of you know. So we're still being monitored how, how many how the players react to the you know the the process, their rehab process that they are going through. So all these questions we can only answer tomorrow morning once we know who are the who are the eleven which you, which, you, which are going to play this game. Uh, Sandeep Bhai Duvedi and Siddharth Vishwanathan. Uh, hi, I just wanted to, as a batting coach, see most of the senior batsmen they know their technique. People like Pujara or Rahane, but what about the the juniors? Somebody like say Prithvi Shaw or Mayank Agarwal. There seems to be serious batting flaws and it's not just me saying all the top commentators and former cricketers from the commentary box have pointed that out. You as a batting coach, how do you look at these flaws and can they be rectified? 